All right, everyone. Um, good morning. I came all the way from Brazil, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. So it all began with a very simple vision. So we saw Facebook was the social network, LinkedIn, the professional network, and we decided to build the academic network, as simple as that. It, became, it began in 2007 for my co-founder, Andrea, with shared book, then Tripula, and with me in 2007, I was only 17 back then, with Campus Virtual, and basically we spent several years trying to build this academic network in Brazil by ourselves, and in 2012, we united to build Passe Gerat. So the problem is, students leave the classroom with doubts, 94% of them. And if you get this with several trends in education, such as education going digital, the sharing economy, new media, and so on, it really reinforces our thesis of building a unique platform that wins due to its scalability of content and also user interactions, always with a very customized and personal experience. So our market is the complementary study materials for the Brazilian college market, which we estimate is over $1 billion per year. And in the old way, the students need to go to several places to get their study material, to answer their doubts, and many of them were offline. And so with Passage Direto, we're really trying to build a one-stop shop in which he has all the content and he interacts with all the students that are studying the same content as he is. So it's really a freemium play. Most of our platform is free, but we have premium plans, subscription, um, in which the users get unlimited content and unlimited features. Okay, basically the content comes from three verticals. The user content, the in-house content we're producing, and also third-party partnership content such with publishers and other online players. Um, it's the pricing is around $10 per month, and the customer acquisition cost, if it isn't like zero, it's like three cents, basically. So it's really organic traffic. So what happened last year, we did several optimizations in the product, and basically we grew our monthly revenue from October to November in 2.3 times. The company went break-even, cash flow positive, and basically we're forecasting as a baseline 4x year-over-year -year growth in revenue for this year. So we spent the first years of Passe Direto um, building this free collaborative platform in which we attracted many users at customer acquisition cost zero. We're talking about 12 million users until today. And the next years, like we tested several business models. We really want to make sure that we have the bus best business model that we can pursue since we have huge traffic and so many options to monetize on these students. And we decided to um, focus on the subscription model because it's recurring revenue, it was a good business, and also we feel that it adds much more value to the students than just like serving ads. Um, and we finalized our Series B um, to focus on that. Um, right now, we're very focused on the Brazilian college market, and we're starting to get a better experience for the students from the civil service exams, from post-grad, from high school. Um, next year, we will really focus to expand in these markets inside Brazil, and then 2020, our big goal is to launch PD in other countries. So we've raised um, seed Series A, Series B with several um, Silicon Valley players, such as Redpoint, Check, that you guys know, I think. Um, and basically, it was around $8 million up to date. Um, and our vision is really to become the best and the largest study platform, first in Brazil and then in other countries. So today in Brazil, this is actually not very accurate, we're talking about 20 million visits per month. Um, we are the number one education app in iOS and the number two education app in Android, so we have significant scale, famous brand there. And like, we're only in Portuguese, only for the Brazilian market, and today, per year, we receive seven million visits from users from other countries, and like with no strategy to do so. So that's an initial validation that if we adapt the product and we really put it in other languages and focus, uh, we can have some international success, and that is a big goal for our business. Thank you very much. It's all in Portuguese, only for Brazilian market, only the colleges in Brazil that you can register to. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, and that's it. Thank you.